Recording in progress. Right? So today we will do the works. So it's good. This is kind of like revision for lesson 15 because we need to know the past participle as well. So, all right. So we do it together. Salapati, you can see the meaning mentioned here. Converse, talks, with. Now, so we will go back to the analysis. So, you know, conjugation sign is the seven group. A, A plus the nasal consonant. Ya. No, na, una. So the group number four with the N dot with the lingua. The number five, na, without dot. O is six, A and Aya. Right, so having remember this and remember prefix, there are 20, 20 of them. So let's do the first one, Salapati. All right, so I'll call the name. So if not, you all feel sleepy. All right, start with Sumeda. Okay, can you find the verb analysis or verb formation for this Salapati? Sumeda? Yeah. Root is S A L. Okay, prefix is? Oh, prefix time. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, S A L. Then? Uh, Are you sure S A L? What is the prefix? No, S A L is the prefix. S A L is the prefix. S -A -L is the prefix. Okay, and then? Um, LAP is the root. LAP? Plus A plus T. Plus A plus, plus T. T. Okay, now, do you have prefix like this? Going well, do we have the prefix SAR? I think S A. Oh, oh we S -A don't have. We, we don't have, have right. S -A -M Okay, so what do we have? S A M. I say M, M dot, right? Yeah. Okay, some. Okay, then can you tell me what's the changes taking place? Uh, the ML become LL. Okay, so how do you call it in Bali grammar? This kind of changes. Uh, what yeah. Assimilation, right? Yeah. Okay, so this call yeah. it assim M assimilation. M All right. Uh. Okay, now what is the PP here? Okay, the book didn't tell us, okay? It's not mentioned here. So what do you think the PP can be? Hmm, salapana, uh, PPN, sala, <laughs> salana, sala, baby. Okay, no. past okay, participle wait, wait, can be, past participle is i, na, or ta, ta, or ta, or another one is, ina, or ta, another one is na, okay. All right, na is, do it for, when do we use the na? Uh, when it's uh, ending, the root is ending R, with D R, R and D, R. D, D and R, okay? Ending yeah. with uh, D and R, right? yeah. For root ending with uh, D and R, okay? Now, so this one, the root is ending with? P. So P, should be okay. pa. So should be? Pa. Sala? Pa. Sala pa. Uh, pita. Okay, right, okay. Okay, next person. Okay, uh, brother Kao, can you tell me what is this apakamati? What is the verb analysis for apakamati? Uh, I think it should be a, right? A, and then, uh, eh, upper, upper, sorry, upper. Yeah. Upper, upper. Upper, upper. Upper, upper plus? Kam, plus kam, plus kam. a, plus t. Uh. Plus R, okay. And what do you think the past participle can be? Past participle. Uh, apa kamita, is it? Apa kamita. All right. So yeah. is this the only one? Kam. Kam. So this is the only one. I can think of this only. <laughs> All right. Okay. So... So, apa kamita. The book didn't mention anything, but it should be double K here. Yeah, double K. Yeah. Okay. What is the meaning of apa? If from apa, it should be away, right? Yeah. Like, like apa kamita. Like so, away, la, goes away. Yeah, right. Goes away, yes. Yeah, apa kamati. Okay, the Sanskrit is kram. Okay, the Sanskrit is, if you look at the Sanskrit, is KR, right? 
So because of KR, the KR become KK. This is a Sanskrit one. All right. Okay, so goes away. Okay, next person. Uh, Hui Ling. Okay, how do you get this? Uh, sum cut dati. Uh, Hui Ling, are you able to answer? Sister Hui Ling says she's driving. Yeah, I'm driving. <laughs> okay. I'm driving still. Okay. All right, okay, then it's okay. So, okay, <laughs> she we just yeah. later. Okay. All right, so next person, Jenny. Right. Can you tell me how do you get this sum cut dati? Some should be sum. Some, okay, plus. Yes. The root should be K A K A D D. D, okay. D, D, H, huh? plus, mm -hmm. R, plus, D, okay. Okay, now what is the password this but that can be? This one should be plus T A, then D H T become some cut. Some cut what? D D H T become what? Sorry, yeah. Some cut. It should be transformed into something. Some cut D. No, just put the ita. Just put the ita. All right. So. Oh, ita. Yeah, ah, ta, right. Ta. Either ta or ita. So which one? If you put ta, it's not possible, right? No, because okay. I, I remember the word DHT, it will transform into something. I can't remember it transform. Yeah, yeah. That is DHT. This one already DDH. Okay. If you are talking about, I, I know what you say. You are talking about DH plus T, it becomes uh, DDH, uh, okay. right? But this already in the case of DDH already. Okay? Oh. Right? Okay. So this plus ita. All right. Now, the M, this M, mm -hmm. it changed to the net, uh, the yeah. NG, right? Yeah. Okay, change to NG. Do you, do you know why? I, I think I remember I explained to you in the first class. Do you know why? Anybody can remember? Ga. Is it, is it, uh, ga ga because M. Right, right. Yes, yes. Because the, the this nasal consonants follow the K group. Ka ka ga ga nga. All right. So it follow the same group. So it, that's why it change it to uh sorry, not this one. N N with the dot above. All right. So it means that follow the K group. K waga. K group. Okay, next person. Gayati. Uh Ganlao, can you try? What do you think this gayati? What is the the root can be? Is it G A? Yeah, G A. If G A plus what? So G A plus Y A. Y A plus T. Okay. Now, what do you think is the past participle? So I think it should be Gaya it. Ga. Ga. Yeah. Gaya. Gaita. Okay. Yeah, yeah, is this the is only it... one? Is there is there another one? Another one. Maybe there's another one. So I think is there's it... another one called Gita, I think. Is it Gita? Uh yeah. Gita also. Gita. Alright. Gayati Gita. Alright, so this is another one. Gita. Okay. Okay, this one should be easy. Next one. Alright. Uh all right, Shumoy, can you try this one? Udarati picks up. Uh, prefix U. U, okay. Plus. That's E-H. D-H. Right. Then. D-H-A-R. D H A R right okay plus so a. N a plus, plus a and t t okay now this one can you expand these changes the r the r run the r will yeah. change to na r change to na uh, then 
Udana. Where is the na? This is a past participle. Oh, you are talking about this na, all right. But the but where is the na here? Oh, you are talking about the, this. Ah, uh, the end of the root. Udar uh. plus change it to na. You are saying like this. Uh -huh. are you? Uh -huh. But why is change it to t t t dot? Or the it the it follow the da la, so yeah, it yeah. add the t a lo. Mm, <laughs> okay, the... it may be ta also follow na, but if the rule is it should be follow the na here. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. So this because, is something that because of the sound, so it cannot be da na, so da ta. Utana, yeah. Maybe uh, the sound uta. because the utana instead utana utada because the, the 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 this sound follow the dh. Uh. So anyway, this might be some special case. So we can just put question marks. Okay, something that not so sure. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, Sajid. Yes. Yes. Udata. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought is uh if we add ha instead of na. Okay. Change it to yeah, all right. And then the we drop the what do you call the R plus T become the what do you call the 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 T with the drop the uh the dot we uh, at the bottom. Okay, all right. So we drop the R and then the 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 T change it to change it uh, to change to uh, the what what do you call uh, that that T with the lingua lingua uh, yeah lingua, lingua. Yeah. lingua. yeah. So it might be possible if we are looking at this side. Okay, this is quite possible also. But if we are follow the nut, it's another possibility. Okay, so maybe this one is also possible. All right. So we can just put two because according to grammar, either tak or nut. But we put nut because for the root ending with D and R. So this one ending with R. All right. But this one may be, I think, more possible. Okay. All right. So next one. Uh all right, so this one should be easy. Okay, Simin, you should try. Yeah, this is easy. We samati. Uh, what is the prefix? Prefix is B. Okay. And B. the root is sum. Okay, sum plus R plus D. R plus D, okay. All right. Now, why we got double S S? Yeah, that's why if for your all you have to look at the Sanskrit, okay? It's samati. The root you can see from Sanskrit S R, right? S R. So this is Sanskrit. So you can write Sanskrit. Because of Sanskrit, that's why the this one S and R change it to S S. That's the reason. Change it to S S A M. All right. Now what is the past participle can be? First, you must know the verbal base. What is the verbal base first? Verbal base is? Uh, Shimi? We sama. We, yes. We sam. Ma. So, we sam, ma, okay. And plus the? So okay, we sam plus the? Plus the ita. We ita, sam, okay. Ita. Okay, but here we don't need to drop the ita. We just put the ta, all right? So we change it to? This one change it to? Change it to N, all right? So you got the B sum ta. All right? According, if you look at the Bali Maisy, you can see this one. Uh, we sum ta, right? This one, we sum ta. Okay. Okay. Maybe is there another one? We sum it ta. We sum ta. Is, do we have is sum it ta? No, we don't have. We sum ta only. Okay? We sum ta only. All right? Okay, thank you. Okay, now next one. Dakati. Dakati means sees. Somebody sees something. Okay, what is the root for this one? Uh, Brother King, what is the root for see something? The root is Brother King, are you around? Okay. Okay, uh D I S uh, I think. Okay. D? DIS this. DIS, D -I -S, okay. Okay, here it here it just you can just change it to uh, direct. There, there is no explanation here. So this plus R and D. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now what is the past participle possible? 
possible pasta ge ada sita ta sita ah uh, da uh, sita ta sita okay okay this one so i not so sure but i think the another one is uh, da sati we have the da sati do we have da kita da kita oh yes we have but no this is another meaning dedicated no it's not so this we have to root this but okay. another thing if you're all thinking okay the root this change it to pass so you got the pasati okay so what is the but again what is the another possible pasati the past participle for pasati is past participle okay. yeah pass what very easy plus ita become pass Become? Pasita. Pasita. Yes, pasita. Yeah, pasita is more possible. Because mm -hmm. this is dark, is a special change here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so we got pasati and pasita. All right. So okay. this is kind of revision for lesson 15. All right. So sometimes it's good to go back to lesson 15. So do we have this or not? Actually, let me see. Oh, yeah. Another one possible is this plus ta. Change it to dikta. All right. This is another one. Dikta. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. So we, we don't need to know this one. All right? So we just this plus that dikta. Because mm -hmm. of influence of S, that's why the T becomes the lingual T. Another mm -hmm. one, pasati, pasita is very easy. Okay, thank you, Brother King. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, Ho, you can try the next one. Yeah. Pasidati. All right. How, what is the possible formation? Huh. Pa plus sa. The prefix is pa plus pa. sa plus sa. Okay, sa become sit. All right, plus uh pa plus t. Ah, plus t. Okay, now can this is the one given in the book? Okay, sorry. The book show already the pasana. All right, pasana. Now how do you get this pasana? Pas pa itawa. Pas plus how how you get this pasana? Mm, because of pas a become n is it? Okay, so here pa pa and sat together you got the pa and sat together you got what? What do you get when you put the pasat? Okay, you got the pasat. Okay, pasat plus is it ta or na? Mm. Na. Na. Okay, then, why do you put the na? Because of ending with D, all right? So you got the pasana. Okay, next one. All right, uh, what is the root for uh, what more you can try? What is the root for this one? Wa, wahati, carries or draws. What is the root can be? Wa, uh, wah. Okay, wa plus a plus t. Okay, T, all right. Now, the past participle is something special, right? okay? Wuha. Okay, we, we just remember like this because the formation is quite peculiar. Okay, so if you want to change one possible example is you have the VAH and then you plus the, uh, how is it? Yeah, just start also become this one but it's a there's some peculiar changes here so we just mark it like this just remember like this okay sometimes you don't need to explain all okay next one anu kachati so this very easy all right sumita what is anu what's the meaning of anu anu uh, uh, what's the meaning of kachati kachati means to go okay go okay so what's the meaning of anu what do you think if you have the meaning anu and gachati, you know the gachati mean goes, right? So what yeah. do you think is the meaning of this anu? Anu, anu. Very easy, it follows, right? So anu, anu. beside the meaning like again, again, but on here means that you just follow. Follow anu. means you goes along. When you goes along somebody, means you follow that person, all right? Anu gachati. Okay, what is the verb formation for anu, the anu plus anu plus gum become gum yeah plus 
A and D. Plus okay. D. Okay, now how do you get the Anugata? Uh, anu, uh, ga, ga, uh, ga, anu gam anu plus, gam plus T A. Okay, and then that, the right. M drop. Okay, the M is a uh, is deleted. And the yeah. is deleted. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay, so next person, Anu Sarati. Uh okay. All right, uh Ganlao, you can try this one. Yeah. How do you get Anu Sarati? Okay. What is the prefix? So, yeah. This uh Anu. Anu, okay. Plus Anu. Sa. Plus S -A -R. Sa plus T. Plus T. Okay, do you know the meaning of Sar? Sa, so, I don't know. Sa so means to remember. Right? You know the yes. sati, mindfulness? Uh, mindfulness, yeah. sati, yeah. So the root sa is to remember. So sati, the mindfulness sati is to do with this one. When you remember something, to remember. Mm -hmm. Okay? So when mm -hmm. you remember something again and again, this anu means the meaning again means you recall. Okay, how do you get this anu sarita? This one very easy. So anu. Anu. Plus sa. Sar plus, plus it. yes, ita. Okay, so sar, uh, if you look at the root, is sar. Okay, so anu sarita. Okay, now Sanskrit is if you look at all Sanskrit, right? Sanskrit, this one sm. Okay, sm r dot. Okay, so we call it. Sanskrit, so it's good to remember Sanskrit. So you go the SMR dot. So here S M A R. Okay. So then S M become S S A R. Right. That's the meaning. That's why mm -hmm. from here you you also got other things like uh sati and so on. All oh, these are related words. Alright, so anusarati means recall. Now next one is easy. Vit kachati. Okay, next person. Uh Brother Kao, what is a weak kachati? What's the meaning of weak here? Weak here is uh, again yeah, away. Uh, away. Away, okay. Weak so, plus, plus gum, gum, gum. Gum, then change to gut. G-A-C-C. Uh, and then, then R plus T. Okay. Okay, so here is away. So, go, go away. Go. All right, go away uh, may disappear. All right, go. how do you get a uh, weak kata? Uh, the gum has been uh, dropped. The root of gum has uh, been dropped, so becomes actually it's gum tala, but it's been dropped. The M so become gata. So uh, okay, the gata. M is a drop here. All right, so gata, we gata. Do you see this word before? We gata. Uh, yeah. Wait, which 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 uh the sutta had this word? We gata. Actually, have this karenia meta sutta we gata middle. We gata middle. Okay, beside this one, is there uh, another yeah, thing? I don't know. <laughs> we gata. Right. Yeah. Is it in patana? Well, Patana, I'm not familiar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, Changkamati. All right. So, next person, uh, Jenny, uh, try this one. How do you get Changkamati? Jenny? Ah, sorry, Saji. I was away for a while. Mm. Changkamati. So, I can Walk should be the root should be car here. Car? Uh huh. Car or the, come? The, the root, um, root ma charati, C A R. C A R. No, 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 not the charity. Charity is another one. This is not charity. Oh, because I saw walk up and down, so I thought it's. No, no, no. This is a chankama. So when we say, when we go for meditation center, the, the play we walk is chankama. So the root is not the char. Is another one. Start with K. It's very obvious. Start with K. Yeah. Come. All right. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Come plus now R and D. Now you have to think how how do you get this chan? Okay, I, I give you a clue. Let's say, let's say we are trying to, uh, let's say, Changka Mati. 
Okay, you can see the root is come now. Now, okay, look, look at this one. All right. All right. Yeah, this is called uh in a grammar they call it intensive where it's double, right? So now okay, let's say we do the come, come and come, all right, come and come. So how do you change it? K become this first K become change it to uh, uh, like the what do you call the the, yeah. the abandon that one the 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 yeah. root that one. Yeah, you okay. Follow that rule, is it? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, this is intensive where you double. Okay, so what can the past yeah. participle? Changamati. Changamati. All right. Kamati, the rule is come, right? You always see this like upa sankamati, you know, upa sankamati, this come, right? So let's say if we, is there a past participle? Uban kamita. Yes, okay. Kamita, right? So very easy. Once you got you get the verbal base, so you just put the ita. So, so you got chan kamita. Okay, next one. So this one start with the apadati. All right. So we already say this is a causative from the word. Uh, a pa jati. All right, a pa jati now is a causative of a pa jati become hey, this one causative of a pa jati. So, where is it? You will see this one, you got the a plus the plus the but and because it's causative, then the a in the between become long a. Hmm, sorry. Change it to okay. So this is how we learn the Pali, you know. You have to literally break everything into small things. Yeah. Right? So Apati and this one, Arabati. You got Arada. Right. So next person. Uh Jen. Okay. Can you try? What is the Prefix possible for this arabati. So there's a meaning begins. So some the arabati ah. we have the meaning of make efforts also. Ah, okay. Ah. Plus. Ah. Uh, ah plus. Rap. Okay. And. Ah plus. Ah, and, and okay. Ah. Okay. Now how to get this arada? Arada. Uh, uh, the B, BH change. Okay. Plus what? What is the suffix? Plus, plus what? You have the, the base is R up and plus what is possible here for the suffix? Ah? Sorry? Ah? No, ah, uh, is a? Past participle is ending with the, adding the ta or ah, na, right? Mm, so ah. this one should be ta, right? Ah, yeah. yeah. Then the here in this case, T and BH change it to? Change to DDH. Yeah, DDH, yeah. Okay, so that's how we learn. From here, you get to know all the prefix all the roots, okay, and all the possible changes. So it's kind of revision for lesson 15 or so. Okay, now we are going to do the body, uh, exercise here. Okay, now I, I don't copy the answer from the back. So we just do it from beginning, okay, for MT. Now, Biku Asane Nisi Danto Sami Pe Titantena Upasakena Sadim Salabati. Okay, uh, brother Kao, you can try. Which one you? <laughs> okay. okay uh, which one you you can try? I mean, which one you think that is possible? Yeah. So the subject is the biko. <clears throat> okay. okay. And then how you uh, know it's a subject? You must explain to people how you know it's a subject. You know. Because yeah. uh, 
in all the centers, the only one uh, ending in uh, the big big coup ending in U. So its possibility is a is a nominative lah. We'll okay, so ah. okay, okay, so you think this is subject, all right? Yeah, so it's a nomin... subject in the sentence. I said be cool. Okay, okay, so uh, this one. Okay, then what is the next one that you you think that you understand? Then since be cool is a subject, then you can see that the DC tanto and then it o right. So also okay, possibly, it becomes the subject also uh, adjective to this uh, be cool uh. so Okay, this so this is a uh, adjective, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, adjective so, to so cool, and, then and then you the mang, and then will be you direct will be sitting. Okay. Uh, okay. So, locative, so right? On the sit, uh, as, as any locative. Sit, okay. In the sit, on the sit. Okay. Uh, on the sit. So, the biku who, who is sitting on the sit, uh, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. Then, uh, Sami Pe is actually is, uh, is uh, near, I think it's in the vicinity, Sami Pe, if I can remember. Uh, is, yeah, uh, is okay. Near, or near. Mm -hmm. Near, then the... Then, after that, the rest you can see is a te, ena, ena, de, upasake, ena, Okay, upan, so you, you ena, see so, the relationship between this ena, ena and ena, uh, alright. And sardin okay. also, uh, so there's an instrumental. Okay, so yes, so you link all this together, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so then right? which means you can see that is salapati, which is converse, right? And then so he talked, so he converse with the upasakena, so with the with the lay devotees. Uh, so this why is instrumental. So then okay, so uh, this is the meaning of converse, okay. Yeah, converse or so all this will be yeah. instrumental, all right? Yeah, yeah. And then the since uh, upasakena is instrumental, so tantena also is a uh, present participle. So it means standing. Lah. So and then it's uh, modified to this upasakena. So uh, in the same uh, gender, lah, in the same gender case. So, okay. so, be, so uh, everything will be mas masculine or feminine? Upasakena is, uh, is a masculine. Lah. Okay, Upasakama, masculine is masculine. Okay. Lah. Alright. So, uh, okay, so, so what's the meaning of Upasaka? Upasaka is? Lady Wuti, right? Okay, but the most specific will be male, right? Male ah, okay. yeah, Lady Wuti. Yeah, male, yeah. Uh, okay. male, male Wuti. Okay. Alright, Sadim is? Sadim is uh, with, la. together with. with. Uh. Together, alright? Yeah. Alright, so now we get the whole sentence. So, how, how should you translate? So, the, the monk who is sitting on the seat uh talks talks or converse with uh eh, but the word near con who is sitting near then okay okay near the converse with with what with the male devotee the male who, devotee who, lead, uh, who is standing, uh, devotee uh, who is standing, uh, who who is standing is near standing near all right uh, okay so th this one way so is there another way of translation another way Another way, uh. mm. the the biko that that sits on the seat, right? It's converse with. Okay, the... now this one you translate who is sitting. You translate as a uh, as a adjective phrase, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then uh, you can say uh, converse with the standing male devotee. Mm -hmm. Can okay, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. So, this is only one translation, mm. okay. So, anybody can see, is there another way we can translate? Uh, Vera, can you see? Thank you, brother. Cow, yeah, uh, sorry, G, I think it's, it's good. This, this, sen this sentence is good, okay. So, you, you don't you don't want to change another way. Can you translate like war? Is it possible we translate war? You know, W, let's say but, if we are going, can we do it like this? Wow, I, I something? At, uh, yeah, actually, initially I was thinking um, is a uh, uh, locative absolute, but it's not. So I, I, I it's not locative because, absolute because uh, this is uh, because the Nisato Danto is not uh, the same as not locative as the. It's not locative. But if you want, you maybe call it nominative absolute, <laughs> not definite, not locative. Right, but actually, yeah. no need because this already in the sense of present participle, right? So it already indicate the time already. 
the monk is sitting there. So we can translate war. Okay, try war sitting. Wow. While sitting on the seat, the monk on the seat, the, the monk, monk converse, converse. converses with the male devotees. Okay, then the rest are same, standing right? nearby. Okay, so the rest are same, all right? Converses with the male devotees and anyway. Okay, yeah. So we can do in this way. We put that this is a using the who, or if you don't want to use the who, you can use the time war. Okay, so these two are possible. Okay. Thank you, Saiji. So I think this sentence is also quite easy. But you can see here, this is a pattern participle. This one indicates it's a nominative singular. We call it follow the. Okay. So this means that this sentence is actually very easy, right? So Nisi Dando qualified to be cool. And this one also is also present participle. But this is using the A na. Actually, lesson 21 is difficult. This one 22 is actually easier. All right. So let's look for next one. Uh, sorry, Saji, I have a question. Uh. Okay. Uh, if you go back to the first sentence, the summit, yeah. summit pay, uh, mm -hmm. how do we know this summit pay is related to the Upasika or the big? Well, the monk is sitting there, mm -hmm. right? The monk is sitting there. Then he talked with somebody and that person must standing near him. The person cannot stand so far from him, right? Because Samipe, can we say Samipe is masculine, locative, singular? Samipe, I think, qualifies to... Uh, yeah, it's, a locative, uh, it's a locative case here. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a place here. It's, it's actually, but if you look at the sentence, you can actually break here, you know. Biku sa, sa na, uh, asane ni sidanto. You break here. All right? So this samipe should be follow. Because standing, where he stand, he stand near to the monk. All right? Hmm. The okay. samipe cannot relate to asane, is it? Okay, so let's say if you want to do it, okay, let's say we, we you want me to, okay, we can try to rewrite the sentence. Okay, so let's see. So, okay, let's say we try to write another way, all right? So let's see. So if you want to put who is standing near, okay, so then you where, where do you want to put the, this samipe? Okay, where do you want to put the word near in this sentence? The monk who is sitting on the seat near. Is it? You want to put it like this? Yeah, uh, I mean, to me, the sentence looks like this. Uh. <laughs> but, okay, you read yourself. The monk who is sitting on the seat near yeah. talks with the devotees, yeah. male devotee who is standing. Standing where? Where is the devotee standing? All right? Yeah. Okay. So, so you can write what you do is for you all doing sutta. After you write the English, you can read. I mean, after you do your own English translation, you, so you leave it for one day or two days. After that, you go back and read your English. So you find if something weird means that it's not logic. All right. Okay. So we just delete it. So this one or this one is better. Okay. All right. Or you want to who is standing nearby. So you can you put the word nearby also. So the rest are same. Okay. All right. Now, next sentence. Okay. Now, since Jenny. Jenny, you try this one. Uh, okay. Now, tell us where do you want to start? Like the bikuni is the subject. Okay. Yeah, bikuni is a subject. Okay. And then the actually this is really from the one of the uh Vinaya rules where the bikuni she leaves the parts. Yeah, it's a little, she's a subject, yes. So bikuni means the nun, okay. Okay, now next one. The, the, 
Jaren. The word. This one? No, no it's pin, not Jaren. Pin, pin, pin Pindaya. Okay, so yeah. Um, I don't think it's Jaren. But uh, okay, if anything you, this one you know. Okay, next thing that you know, which one do you really confirm? You know the meaning. Cara mana. That one should be the present participle. Okay, so this is a present participle. Yes. Okay. Okay, next one. Aga Chan Tang. This one should be NT NT. Oh, you have to speak a little bit louder. Your voice is a little bit soft. No, I, I'm thinking to myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, just okay. Look for you know the subject. Okay, look for verb first. Any verb. Verb is easier. Yeah. This one. Okay, I this mean, one. All right. Yeah. So okay. Uh, let me make it. Okay, so you know the meaning. So, uh, right? Having seen. Okay. Okay, next next one, you know. So, you have the one verb already, right? The object should be ratam. Right, okay. What is ratam? Is it a vehicle? Yeah, it's a vehicle. What kind of vehicle? A chariot or, or, or yeah yeah of course in the Buddha time there's a chariot yeah okay all right okay next one uh the upper kami that one should be uh past tense erisa yeah okay Aris. so it's a verb yeah so it's a also uh Aris, yeah first person second person third person the third person singular Okay, so what's the meaning of this? This one is like... Just now we learned already, Apa Kamati. Uh, Apa Kamati is? Ran away. Apa Kamati? Hmm. No, ran away. Oh no, when, go away. Oh, okay, when, when away, away, yeah. yeah. Okay, when, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, when away. Alright, okay, now. The nun, she see the chariot and then she went away. Alright, okay, hmm. what else? Magat. So this one should be um eh, what is what uh, uh, oh, is to is a uh, to R O E to be daisy for genitive. No 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 <laughs> to 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 locative no 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 to no, no, suffix yeah. ablative yes ablative okay ablative what's the meaning what's the meaning of oh. maga Maga, Maga is, is the path or the road. Yeah, so from the path. From, yeah. The path, okay. So we already got the sentence, okay. So the nun, okay, she see the chariot. Okay, maybe wood, okay. And went away from the path, okay, so far. Now we have other thing. VT, okay, so we, we call the next person, all right, VT. Uh, okay, Jen, can you try? What is VT here? VT yang. VT. Is there here? VT is? Yeah, yeah okay. VT is? This one. Hmm. VT is a, 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 park, okay. a road. A road? A street here. It's a ah, street. Yeah, it's a road yeah. or street. Okay. So, you know the meaning of street. What is this yam? Yang, uh, yam is it's a feminine, right? So in feminine, which one got the yam? Which case have the yam? Viti yang. Yam. Oh, ablative. No, no, no. Feminine has huh? no yam. Feminine, which one got the yam? Locative. Locative what? Only female locative singular have the yam, right? So means on the on the street. Okay, now pinda. What is pinda? Okay. Mm. Pinda is okay. Uh brother, yes. brother can can you do you know the meaning of uh pinda?
Again. Indah arms are uh, arms. Yeah, okay. So what is ya here? Uh this one is a dative. Uh. Yes, okay. So uh, for the arms. Uh. Yes, okay, singular. So so of course the bikuni go for arms. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you know the bikuni go for arms. So we the nun, okay, for arms. All right. Now we we start have the meaning already. Why this charamana? For the word charati, all right. Uh, Simi, you know the meaning of charati. Charati means. Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, charati means what? To travels or to walks or charity. What's the meaning of charity? Uh, what going? Okay, going. Yeah. So go, but actually it's kind of like move around, moves also, charity moves also. But here it can be goes, okay. Moves or goes. Now you have the ing, so plus ing. So the nun going, okay. Going for arms, then see the chariot. But this chariot is explained by another thing, okay. You can see this thumb and this, all right. So what is this case? Ratam is which case? Uh, all right, so okay, Gana, what is the case for this ratam? Is that uh, object? A, object so, yes, okay, acquisition. Acquisition. okay, how about this akachatam also? So, it should be also accusative, yes, it should be the same, right? Okay, so you can see she 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 go for arm and she see the chariot. What kind of chariot? The chariot is. What is uh, Agachatam? What is Agachatam? Okay. Agachatam means from the word Agachati. Okay. So Agachati, and then you just drop the T plus the Tam. Okay. Ta plus the Am. So, come. So when you have the come plus ing, coming. So to see the chariot, so how should we translate? That was coming, okay? So we have, how many action you have? Actually, you only got this bhikkhu, a bhikkhuni. She saw the chariot and then she went away, means she moved away from the path, right? But who is she? So you can write this, this is the, this is the action, okay? She going for arms now. So she see the chariot. Okay, this chariot is explained by that was coming. So another color. So the bikuni going for arms now. See the chariot that was coming. And then she went away from the path. Right? So this center is not difficult, very straightforward. But the, the thing is here, charati, you become here, become chara, right? Chara plus the mana. Here, agachata is a, uh, agachati become, from the word agachati become, and here is anta, all right? So this is mana. So you can see the suffix are different. Mana. Charamana and then agacha anta and this one. So charamana then because it's a feminine, so you put the long a here. Charamana. Why is it long a here? Because of bikuni. So bikuni is female. So charamana. If talking about past participle, it will be present participle. Uh, it's a feminine. All right. So will be normally singular because it must follow the bikuni. So bikuni will be female. Normally singular. Okay, so you can see the relationship. Okay, any question about this one? So here, what it trying to say is charamana, agacha anta, so coming. Charamana means 
moving, but here is a take it as go plus in going. So moving, coming, anta and mana suffix for the present participle. So it's talking okay, action that happening at that time. Also bikuni charamana. Agachatam ratam. So bikuni diswa. Bikuni apakami. So how many action for bikuni? So you have the verb one and verb two. So verb one and then verb two. So here is present participle. This is does not take as an actual word. This is kind of is only as a as an adjective here, right? So this is just it's adjective explain what is the bikuni doing at the time. Okay, and this also adjective to this ratam. Okay, any question? No, I continue, all right? So this is not difficult. Okay. Now. Okay. Is there any present participle here? It doesn't look like a present participle. Okay, Brother Carl, do you think there's any present participle here? I would say char Charamana is a present participle, or, or, uh, but it's in the feminine. La. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, they finished already for the sentence number three. This oh, one. number three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number three, uh, uh, no, la, no. La. No. La. Don't have, uh. How about this Arahato? What do you think Arahato can be? Arahato, uh, I, I will take this as a genitive. Uh. Okay, yeah, it's a genitive. Okay, let's say take it as genitive. Okay, singular. How how do you get this arahato? Oh, this is from the from the uh, arahat lah, the one the okay, special arahat, form. Arahat, arahat yeah. plus to. Okay. To. Yes. Right. So, what is the suffix for arahat? To is a suffix real. Uh, the, no, uh, from the word uh, arahat. Arahat. The, the suffix ah. Mm. Ara. Ara what? Ara, oh, arahat, la. arahat, I think is what, la, right? What? Is there a what here? There's no what here, but... The then what, what should it be? Arahato. Arahato. Okay, so, okay, so we look at this again. Go back to this. Okay, might become black color. Ar arahat, right? The one, the... The, the, the okay. stem is arahat. La. Okay, you, you check this arahato and this gachato. What do you think? Can we take it as they are similar? In a way similar, yes or no? Uh, yes. Okay. So, so what is it? Gachato. Gachato means coming from which one? The special form one. A special uh, form one, okay. Uh, the, the, the one, uh, the gachat. Nah. Gachat, right. okay. So gachat means it ara, has ara, ara, two ara. suffix. One is anta and... Ara, ara. And at, okay. And at, yeah. all right. So, for example, this one, gachanto. Okay, from the word gachat, gachato. You have the gachato. Okay, so possible to have the anta, okay. And then here is a t, right? Gachanto is different case, right? Is it same or no? Yeah, is different, 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 different case, different, yeah. But I mean the suffix is NT, A-N-T. Ah, yeah, right? suffix yeah. is, yeah. So this suffix is A-T. Yeah, so overall, okay. right? So unless you don't want this one, you take the Akacha Sasa, okay? So you got the Kacha plus Anta plus Sasa, okay? Here will be mm -hmm. Kacha plus what? Plus... Uh... Gacha plus plus one plus plus, 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 <laughs> plus to <laughs> plus to not, it's not to then be plus r plus to right a uh, plus t uh. can't remember okay let's say the we thought gacha plus plus a 
instead antak we because we had the kacato right so maybe we take it yeah. if we put the t and put the o oh okay okay maybe kacato yeah, o okay. is for the gen genitive and dative all right mm -hmm. okay so how about arahato what do you think so arahato be araha plus t plus o ara plus araha plus t plus o okay maybe we can put Instead of this uh, T, maybe we can put like gacha plus art, maybe it's possible. Okay? Maybe mm -hmm. we can do it in this way, right? Yeah. So, ara plus art plus o, okay? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so possible. So, arato. So, in this case, arato, what kind of, is it present participle here? What do you think? Present participle, uh. Is it here? This why I was thinking, what is this? Why do they want to show this one? Stranger. Huh? Uh, I, 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 mm. If you look at the whole sentence, uh, it doesn't look past. It doesn't, it doesn't, in terms of context, it should, I think it shouldn't be present participle. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Okay. Yeah. So, ara, you have the ara, arahat. Okay. Arahat, ta, here put the ta suffix. Arahat, but it didn't show here. We only got arahat. Arahati. Mm -hmm. You see the arahati? Ra. Araha. Okay. So I was thinking, why should they put this example? Okay. So maybe we just skip for a while. Okay. Now, do the sama sambudasa. Okay. So we do the rest. Uh, Baraka, you can try. Sama sambudasa is? So it's the same. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, genitive. Uh. So it's because okay. uh, ar arahato and sama sambudasa always come together. Okay, then what is patu bawo? Patu bawo is uh, uh, what? Uh, appearance, so, yeah. appear, appear, appear. Yeah, appearance, okay. Yeah. So, appear. so appearance. Uh. Okay, do labo? Do labo is actually is uh, either difficult or hard la, or rare. Okay, yeah, rare. So re, okay. Yeah. So re. Okay. How about loka samin? Then in the world. In the world, right? Now the whole thing. Which one is the subject here? Uh, should be patu bawo lah. Okay. Why do you think it's subject? Because bawo bawo is a is a uh, is a o uh, is a. All right. Okay. It's a o. Uh -huh. Right. So it's a nominative singular, right? Yeah. Okay. So what is tulabo? Dulabo is rare, so it's a uh, you can say as subject a complement. Subject, uh, subject complement, yeah. Okay, so in a way, it's also a, like adjective here, right? Ah, okay. Adjective, yes. So okay. appearance is rare in the world. The appearance. So if the you translate from here, appearance. The appearance of ara uh, of the word T one. This is a genitive law of word, the word T one. Uh, word T. Uh, one. Fully enlightened one, okay. Fully yeah. enlightened one is rare in the world, in the world. right? Uh. Okay. Now, now the question is still why do we come to this arato and why is it show here, right? So, is it arato to do a present participle? <laughs> so, mm. yeah, strange. This one also strange, yeah. Okay. But then if we can take the mm. the appearance as the subject, right? Then say the appearance of arato. So. It makes mm. more sense, uh, but no uh, present participle. Uh. Mm, okay, so Arato is just genitive singular. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. So we can just think about it later. Okay, now next one. Okay, so number four. Uh, okay, uh, okay, Vira, you can try. Tumhe Ida Kim Kuromana Viharata. Vira? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, just unmute. Uh, tumhe is second person. Second. Uh, second person plural. Why? Ah, uh? I'm um, sorry. Pronoun second person plural. Okay. Pronoun. Ida at work here. Uh, tumhe is you all. Okay. You all here. Okay. Kim is a question. Okay, it's a question. Uh, then uh, viharata is dwelling you or, or or stay or live, uh, live. 
Mm. So it's uh, then Guru, Where are states? State dwelling, okay. the stay Guru Mana, okay. Why is Guru Mana? Guru Mana, Guru Mana, what got not it now? Okay. You know what is Guru Mana? <laughs> The from the word car karoti, all right. So you have the word karoti. So the root is car. Kao plus, how do you get this guru mana? Of course, you have the mana suffix, right? So, put maybe insertion of you. So, guru mana means karoti, doing, all right? Okay. So, why So, are how... you all? Why you all? Why you all stay? Why? Why Why? you all stay Uh, uh, what? here? What? Cannot. Cannot. What? Because What doing are you? got doing here. So what What? are you doing? What are you doing? Why Staying here. staying here? Okay. What are you doing? Stay here. I also can. What are you doing while staying here? Okay. What are you doing while staying here? Right? So while staying here will be the act. This is a this one. Ida, Ida, Kurumana. So the doing, the doing is guru mana. The the staying is viharata. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, so. You, what are you doing will be the, doing will be the guru mana. Okay, guru mana is a present participle here. Okay. What are you doing while staying here? All right. That means Yeah. the M A N A that means feminine la. connect to It's not feminine. Tumhe, pura. oh okay okay thank you Okay, so this one will be also uh plurals should be yeah, pura. Okay. So it will okay be nominative yeah pura pura. and person Okay, because we don't know you are male or female, so we just leave it. All right. So this one will be present. Uh second person, pura. Plural. Okay. Mm, yes, yes, What are yes. you doing while staying here? This is the best, right? Okay. Usually the, the, the while is added on, is it? To make the... While staying here. Okay, yeah, because of this is a here remember the present tense you can translate as uh with the present tense or present continuous. So dwell or dwelling. Okay. You can tra translate as dwell, stays. If not, you can translate another way. Dwellings, staying. All right. So the So the if while you don't added want to on. take while, okay, if we don't we we just drop the while. So what are you doing staying here? Also Not nice. can or not? Not nice, okay. What are you doing staying here? Or uh staying here. What are you doing? <laughs> also can. <laughs> what What are are you doing? you doing? Okay. What are you doing? Put within bracket long no? the while so that Okay. won't be mistaken. Yeah. As uh, Right. absolute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because doing is already present participle. Yes. So you have the, this one will be present uh, participle here. Because it's qualified to this tumhe. This one is not difficult. It's only the English is not so easy to understand. Okay, next one. Okay, okay, this is a long sentence. Okay, now when we come to this kind of long sentence, what, what we do is try to identify which one is similar or what is the relationship between each other. Uh, okay, so ask the... Okay, Ganlao, you can try this one. Okay, Ganlao? Yes, okay, try. Which one should you start with? Yes. Rookie is trees. Okay, trees. Trees fall. Trees Yellow fall. fall. Okay, then. Fruits. Fruits, okay. Then. Near. Near, okay. Is it sitting? Sit, sit, Sitting, sitting. okay.
Householder. A housewife, I don't know. Housewife, yeah. Okay. Uh, servants. Servants, okay. And uh, this one is not collects, is it? Correct, okay. All right. Now, so, you, you know the, we call it the meaning. All right, this is the English meaning. So, you know the meaning. So, now, from the, which one should I start first? Find the subject. Right. So, which Sorry. one is the subject? Sorry, say the servants. Gaha pati, ah. Gaha servants. Gaha pata, pataniya. Gaha pa, gaha pa. Okay, pa, pi, eh. All right. Gaha pataniya. Yeah. Servants right, so should be. Servants should be the. Should be the subject. The subject, all right. So, all right. So, how you know it's your subject here? Because you know, from the English. English <laughs> from the English. English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, from the English. Okay, now, all right. Maybe. So, you already find the main subject. What is the main verb? The main action will be? The main verb, okay. The housewife, the servants. The servants of yeah. the housewife. Yeah, correct. I think right, okay, correct. Yeah. English. So you got the subject, you got okay. Correct, so correct. we we translate correct. the English first. So the servants. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Servants. Yeah. The housewife servants at the The servants of the housewife or what? Okay. So this housewife the is, of, is qualified English is actually explain the explain to this one. All right. So yeah. so it's a genitive. So it's the servants house twice collect the genitive poorer. Yeah. So the servants. So the servants, okay now we, we will make the servants and then here actually it, it explains some more of the house wife. Singular or poorer? Is it one housewife or many housewife? Is it singular or poorer? I think singular. Don't say think. You should know. <laughs> is it singular or plural? Singular. Okay, because ya happen only in feminine, right? Five of them, right? So the servants of the housewife correct. What what she correct? She like correct what? Fruits. Fruits. Okay, so the object. So you will have the object here, all right? Okay, so this is the object. This is an accusative. Yeah, object. So, what is the gender for the fruits? The fruits. Neuter, right? Neuter, yeah. Okay, poor, okay. So, the servants of the housewife create the fruits. Okay. All right. So, you already know the subject. You already know the action. Correct. And you know the object, the fruits. Okay. What else? Falling from the trees, I think. Yeah, falling from the tree. So what is the fruits? The fruits that falls on tree. So we can just put the extra one. So falling from the trees. Okay. Uh, okay. So falling from the tree. So the trees should be what case? From the tree is ability. Okay. So masculine ability poor. Okay. So patanani. Palani, do you see the this relationship? Yeah, yeah. Patanani, palani. So, the fruits falling. All right. So you can see this is a patanani is what kind of a what kind of grammar? Patani, okay. Patani, okay. What is the word for this patanani? Okay, patanani from coming from. Pa P A P A P Pa P A P Patanta Okay Patanta means coming from the word Patati All right Patati means falls down Right or not So you got the Pata Pata Plus the Okay Anta suffix Okay Plus the Anta Anta is falling All right Falling down Okay Can you see Patatani, so you patatani means patata. Patata means patati, patat plus anta, falling down. So, patantani, palani. Alright, patantani, palani, this relationship. Okay, where is another one, another present participle? So, the next one, 
Where is another present participle? Present participle, you see the sitting. So which one? Yeah, sitting. So nisidanti. So nisidanti kahapatani. So highlight another color, okay? Nisidantiya kahapataniya. So you got the ya and the ya, iya, iya. Okay, we can take it as iya, all right? Ya or iya, all right? So how do you get this? Ni, si, dan, si, ya, okay? So will be ni, si, dan, dan, bras, what? I, okay? Female. This is a feminine, all right? Feminine, all right? Feminine. So from the word ni ni plus sof. Okay, ni si plus what? Anta, okay? Yeah, anta, all right. Anta suffix. Present participle, all right? So mm -hmm. for this kind of thing, you have to break down, okay? Ni si dan ti ya. So e and then with the ya, all right? This is with the ya. Ya suffix for genitive. Singular. There's a nisi dan and anta, right? I is because it's feminine. So nisi dan ti ya. So nisi anta. Nisi anta. Present basis. So you can say anta here. Alright. So anta. He also got anta. It's a little bit not easy to find. This anta. So anta. You can see also got another anta. Okay, nisi di nisi dan dia. What's the meaning of nisi dan dia? Sitting, sitting. All right. Yes. So sitting. So then some more. The servant of the householder then qualifies some more. Who was sitting nearby? Okay. So you can see the relationship actually is complicated. Okay, the servants of the householder who was sitting nearby correct the fruits falling from the trees. Okay, you all can follow. But Saiji, why you put was here? Not is cannot. Oh, sorry. Oh, the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who ah? Uh, sorry, who is? Uh, yeah, she's a singular. So who is? Okay. Who the who, servants of the householder no, should be. Who are, I think the servants, uh, who are. Yeah, it should be, uh, servants. No, are. no, no. The servants correct the fruits. Of the uh. the, correct, the servants correct. There are many servants correct the fruit. So it's a sakka oh, danti. Yes, but the housewife here should be yes, sing yes, yes. one, one, one housewife, one housewife. Because in one family, only got one housewife, right? Yeah, yeah, yes yeah, or no? <laughs> Unless <laughs> they, they are they're having a few wives in one house. All right, only one housewife. So of course, is singular. All right. Okay, so you all look this for a while. So I think this is number five already. So what is number six? Number six is easier. But Saji, Saji, but the sangka danti wah. Sangka danti refer to the servants. These servants. So the the plural servant. The sangka. Yeah, the servant correct. Yeah, it's correct. The servants correct. The sangka danti is plural, right? Yeah, the servants so, is plural. So who who is sitting me? The housewife the is house, sitting. Sit. Oh, the housewife. Oh, the housewife who is sitting. Uh. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this sami pe ni si dantia gahapatia. So hmm? you, you can make it. They are related to each other. Okay. Sami pe nisidia okay so our this yellow color so who is sitting nearby so why not not saka sakadati eh? because okay, we are talking we about, talk about subject the, is this one sewaka sewaka is male male servant should be male yeah male servant yeah it's a pura so you can read here, the servants correct the fruits. The servant, who is the servant? Is the housewife of the housewife. And describe someone who is the housewife, the housewife who is sitting nearby. 
correct the fruits uh, that falling from the tree. So it's how many, how many adjectives you can find. So one, two, three, three adjectives. Three adjectives in one this kind of complicated sentence. So you look at the English first. You just read like this. The servants of the housewife who is sitting nearby create the fruits falling from the trees. Right? So how many servants? How many servants? Many. Many. How many housewife? One. <laughs> because in <laughs> one house, how many housewives? I'm confused. Only <laughs> one. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, so very easy. Yeah, okay. In feminine, yeah is how many? Only singular. Singular, yes. singular, singular, singular with a yeah only. In feminine, how many things with a yeah? Five, right? Yeah, right? Okay. five. Daily genitive, uh, ability, instrumental, and locative, but all singular. Okay, so this is a we call it tricky because. This one, I don't think exists in the Tipitaka. It just exists in this Pali grammar book. Okay, so let's do maybe another final one. So the next one. Oh, this one is easy. Uh, what? Kete gita gila Ketesu kasaka ki tani kayanti. Okay. Is there any present participle? Okay, what is ket keta? What is keta here? This one number six. Okay, what is keta? The meaning of keta. Anybody feel, know? Feel. Feel, right? So it's a feel. So in is a locative here. In feels. Pura. Okay. Kasaka is? Farmer. Okay. Right. It's also pura. Song. Okay. Song. Pura. Kayanti is sing. But here, nothing to do with present participle. Okay. Yeah. Is there any present participle here? No. No? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like yeah. got any present participle. I think you want to confuse us. Huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, uh, I think even the arahato just now. Why is this arahato? Why is it arahato is one of the grammar here or is it another grammar? Arahato, Arahan. But okay, let's go back. Okay, let's finish the, this one before we go back to Arahato. Okay, this one will be easy. So you got the locative uh, masculine, locative pura, then kasap, kasapa is also subject here. So masculine, nominative pura. Song is object here. So song should be a gitani. Yeah, it's a neuter, right? So neuter. Uh, Acquisition sing pura. So this present tense, third person pura, right? Okay, now we go back to this arato. Right. So arato we know you so that we know the way the word arahan. Okay. So if arahan we also got arahat. Okay. And then here is uh, all a genitive. Arato, because it's genitive here. So what is this arahat? What kind of grammar? Okay. Is it a present participle here? No. Arahan. Arahan, you see here. A and P. What is a PPR? Uh, present. present participle. Okay, so arahato, this means that it's a? So, it's a PPR, okay? Present person of Arhati. So, how you got Arhati? So, this means that you got the Ara plus a At, okay? At or Ara plus the Anta. So, you got the Arahan or 
Sometimes you have the word called arahat. Okay. Sometimes if you see somebody attend, you can use the word arahat ship for those who have attained the fruition of arahat. So this one will be the present participle. Okay. Okay. Present participle. So arahan, arahat. Like just now, you had a gachanto. Uh, you had a gacha, what? Gachantas. You see? Gachantasa, gachato. Gachato, same with the arahato. You can see the same form here. Okay? Gachantasa, gachanto. Gachanto, and here's a gachato. So you can see here with the N, here without the N. Okay, so, yeah, okay. So we will finish here. So, Saji. Uh, happy new year to all. Saji. Yeah, Jen. Yes. I uh, just want to ask, can the arahanto be uh, uh, possessive or not? Possessive. <laughs> oh, because okay. you, you see here, appearance of 41. Okay, so possessive uh, is a, like just now with the one toe. Yeah. Maybe, but the previous one is the, the one toe. And man and in, all right. The previous chapter we have three. Previous chapter we on the lesson. 21. Lesson twenty one we have the one, man and in. So this arhato does not have this. Uh, possessive suffix. Okay. Oh. Arhato. Oh. So even if you have, you just have the what, or man. Okay. Man. Or e. All right, this is a special form, right? Yeah. So here, that's why it should be the present participle because okay. the suffix are different. Okay. All right? So, so sometimes say, it's a, yes? If you say this is, I mean, in this third sentence, uh, if Anahato is present participle, then how mm -hmm. do we translate? Yeah, there's one thing here. All right? So, you can see presence of this word of arahati, meaning deserving. You see how they translate deserving worthy. Okay. So maybe so normally how do we translate arahan? We translate arahan as worthy. So maybe another one is deserving. All right. ING. Okay, so that's why when you got the dictionary, not just at the concise dictionary, so try to find this PTA dictionary, it's actually better. Parts of arahati, arahati, okay, PP, PPR, meaning deserving worthy. Right? So, case araham, araha, arahato, arahata, now you can see arahata, ta suffix, arahatam, arahatamhi, arahatam. Okay. So you try to read all. You know, there are so many things here. So actually, then you have the arahantam. You see, here another arahantam. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So yeah. Arata. Yes. Sorry, yeah. The PPR means just now you show us. PPR means. Wait, let me check. PPR. Uh, yeah, PPR should be present participle, right? Mm. Let me see how is this. Uh, we should ask about the cow he is more. PRP is PR and uh, PRP is the same. Only oh, that one okay. is in front, one, one is at the back. Participle, okay, present. Then the other mm. one, present participle. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay, so here PP, this one, okay? P, 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 oh, P, R, P. Present participle. Oh, this is passive, all right? So where's the PPR? This one, all right? Yeah, okay. PPR, present participle. Mm. Okay, this one. Mm. Okay, all right, so if you. you had this one, you just click somewhere here, all right? Mm. Okay, all right. So we now, we know the answer is a PPR. <laughs> so you have to find from the way of Arhato. So this one, lesson 21 is this one month in. So lesson 22 is... What is lesson then two? You have the how many suffix? NTA. NTA, 
mana. The other one is a ana suffix. Okay. So this is arahanta. Or under special case, arahat. Okay. Then plus the o. Okay. Can follow? So don't confuse now these two. 21 and 22 are not same. They are quite same in terms of declension, but the meaning is different. Yeah, all right. Anyway, we can continue some more. All right. Saiji, the arahat plus A, right? Instead of O. Yeah, but here is arato. Here is arahato. Oh, you want it? This one is a, we call it, this is a stem. We are talking about stem form only. All right, stem form. But this one is already in a genitive, genitive. Uh, and, genitive and, and genitive, all right? So here will definitely be genitive. So you know you got all, all is special. So you know, you know that you got arahat. So the question is arahat, this AT is what? AT means the upon this anta. Yeah, upon this anta. Like one, you got what? Man, you got mat, right? Mm. So anta, you got the? So the, that's why listen to one and twenty two. You all can study again. Okay, there are some link. It take me some time to study also. Okay, I think enough. So we just stop today. So happy New Year to all. So we stop for next week. So after next week, I think you all can start to prepare for your presentation. Uh, there are marks given based on presentation. All right, because the purpose of this Bali Make Easy class, the whole course, if you notice, is for you all to be DIY self-independent so by after one year you notice that you'll be able to tackle most of the sutta by yourself you know which you are not able to do one year ago right okay so if i go very slow we will lose the momentum so it's better push 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 and then you'll all be able to do the sutta by yourself that, that's the ultimate aim of learning the pali for us to appreciate the buddha teaching Okay, so can we invite somebody to do a chanting? So who is good in chanting beside Brother Kawa? Uh, Brother King, are you good in chanting? <laughs> no, 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 still learning. <laughs> okay, uh, Sumita, you want to lead us in chanting? Sumita? No, uh, sorry. No, uh. Okay, uh, then Brother Kawa, you are nominated to lead the chanting. Should we give others chance? <laughs> okay, you, you just ask who want to do chanting. How about Jen? Yeah. Jen? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, I try. I try. Okay, huh? okay. I turn on the <laughs> so video. Shall... Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Mm. Okay. Mm. So okay, thank you. The, yeah. yeah. So after learning the um, Bali, so we shall transfer the merits from the learning uh, to the to our departed one. Um and sharing the merit. Huh? Okay, let's do it together. Aka sata cebumata dewa naga mahit dika unyantang anumo ditua cirang rakan tu lo kesa senang cirang rakan tu de senang cirang rakan tu mamperang eta bata amhehi Sampadang punya sampadang Sabe dewa, sabe sata, sabe buta, anumo dan tu Sab, Sabba sampati sitia Okay, then we shall do the uh, transferring merit to the departed one. Yeah? Idam me nyati nang ho tu, sukita hon tu nyatayo Idam me nyati nang ho tu, sukita hon tu nyatayo. Now we do the aspiration. May we uh, meet with the uh, wise one always and until the final liberation is realized. Imina punya kamena, mame bala sama gamo, satang sama gamo ho tu. Yawa nimbana patia Itame punyang asawaka ya wahang ho tu Itame punyang nimbana sa pachayo ho tu Sadu, sadu, sadu. 
Okay, thank you, Jen. So let us do the Buddha Sasanam together. Buddha Sasanam Chiram Titatu. Buddha Sasanam Chiram Titatu. Buddha Sasanam Chiram Titatu. Sadu, Sadu, Sadu. Okay, thank you. So happy holiday. Thank One you, only. Sayaji. Thank you, Saiji. Happy Thank you, Saiji. Happy 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 Saiji.